So Android 10 was the latest version of Android in 2019 and people have been getting updates about it on their latest flagships. But for two smartphones which are in which are in budget lineup are not getting any updates about it. And so the, the consumers are frustrated about how when and how are they going to get the updates. So for that, the custom ROM developers have been working hard and have been bringing new ROMs having based on Android 10 to the market and so that people, those consumers who are using budget smartphones could try it out. So now today I'm going to show you one custom ROM which is based on Android 10 that is Pixel Experience. So the first thing which you notice on a custom room is the UI design and how the icons look, how the animations are, and how the whole feel of the custom room is. And so let me show you an overview of that. So there isn't much change in the whole UI design when compared to Android Pie. As you can see, the icons are the same, the animations are the same, and the features in the settings menu and home screen are the same. There is just only one option available that is the developer, developer option available in home screen settings where you could actually change some of the options or you could go through them when you install the custom ROM. So these are the settings which you normally shouldn't go through and you shouldn't try to change them but for the users who really want to configure their device they can actually go through them. So now talking about the notification panel it is the same there isn't much change in the whole UI as I said before and let me show you the whole notification panel and the configuration. So as you can see there are some extra options to you know open your camera and something else so I'm not really getting into the detail of it because it is kind of the same and there are only some uh, new options available. So even if I compare the whole UI design, notification panel and the icons, the whole thing stays the same. And so there isn't much change when we compare it to Android Pie. So now when we talk about features, there is a feature available that is auto rotate. So now that, just think of it, you're using an application that is Google Chrome. And when you rotate your smartphone, you will see an option that says that if you want to rotate your screen, you can do that by clicking here. And as you can see, just let me show you. Now, I'm just getting around. This is vertical. This is horizontal. And as you can see, you click there and your screen will rotate. Now, you again, as you can see, there is an option. So basically, this is an option to show you that you have rotated your smartphone. And if you want to change your orientation, you can do that. So this is a new option which is available on Android 10. Now let's talk about the features which are available in the settings. Now, uh, so you will see some suggestions available right there uh, above in the settings part. And when we go to the whole settings menu, let me show you what there is available. As you can see, there isn't much to talk about in network settings, network in the internet connected devices. In battery, even, even if I click on it, there is option of battery percentage, adapt to battery and battery saver only. Now when we talk about display, let's take a look at this one. So you can see dark theme and auto rotation is available. Uh, tap to awake is also available right here, which is working fine. I have tested this one, and then we click on when we click on sound, as you can see, the normal options which are available on Android 9 Pi is also available in Android 10. You don't see any add-ons on this one. So the new section available in the settings menu in Android 10 is privacy. So here, here you can change your permissions of for the applications or the autobill service which you normally use while saving your passwords IDs for different websites and you can actually personalize your ads if you really want to disable them or opt out of all the ads personalizations which we normally get when we search through any products on internet. So now if we talk about Android features available in Android 10 which are not available in Android Pie are digital well-being which is kind of having some new features you know as you know focus mode when down was available in Android Pie but focus mode is the focus mode is the new one which is available in Android 10 and some other features like the switch access menu, the dual timing was available to the time took action where you can actually change the notification duration which is on the right here to 10, 30, 1 minute and 2 minute you know kind of timings. So it would have been better if they would have given us an option to actually edit it ourselves instead of giving us options though it is still fine. So now if we talk about the some extra features in Android 10 which were not available in Android Pie there is one which I would like to show you. That is when you click on gestures and you see this three button navigation system. Here are three options. The first one is gesture which is completely fine which is working actually. Two button navigation and then we click on this one that is the three button navigation. The three button navigation is the one which I am using right now. But you can actually opt for gesture navigation 
but I am not really comfortable with it because screen ratio we have on the smartphone is 16 ratio 9 not 18 ratio 9 so I would prefer you to use 3 button navigation because it will be easier for you to use it on your normal day to day life and that's it for this features part now if we talk about camera on this pixel experience room it is the new gcam mode 7.1 based on pixel 4 and so I have been taking some photos around it and I feel the quality is fine the video is stable and so now as you can see here are some samples so this one is taken in broad daylight and I think so the photo came out well and even with good details and the second one is taken at night and even this one has good details as well so now if we talk about a gaming performance on this custom room I have made a specific video about it you can actually check it out right here so the two benchmarks which people normally prefer are Android benchmark and Geek benchmark. So now let's see their scores. So now if we talk about Android benchmark, the score is 1,74,431. So you want to talk about the new chipsets which are actually all overpowering this one. The Zoo Z2 Plus had Snapdragon 820 in it and you know being a flagship still it works fine even this day uh, when you talk about gaming or even day to day usage it is completely fine. And the second applications which we consider as a benchmark score is Geek Benchmark and the single score is 315 and the second you know, multi score is 809 which is still fine but I am not saying it is the most powerful chipset available in the market but still if you really think of a smartphone under 10,000 rupees which could give you a bang for a buck you know when we talk about performance Zoom Z2 Plus is still preferable. Now if we talk about bugs in Pixel Experience so the first one was whenever I use an application like a social media application or even YouTube the screen just you know gets turned off and at the same time you know you are actually stuck on an application which was completely annoying. At the same time the other three bugs which I was really you know annoyed about was the weak network even the all quality and Wi-Fi network were sometimes very low compared to other custom ROMs which I was using my sim in. If you talk about Wi-Fi network, it is also quite weak when compared to other custom ROMs. Sometimes even Bluetooth was not working when I was trying to call someone or when I was trying to listen, listen to songs. So these were the bugs I could talk about in Pixel Experience. So now, if you should use this custom ROM as your daily driver or not? This is, that is the main question, right? I think so right now, using this custom ROM as your daily driver is going to be a problem. But if you want to try out Android 10, and want to go through the features and want to see how it feels then you should try out but using it as your daily driver is really not going to be a good thing i will be trying out other custom rooms based on android 10 and then i will tell you should you try out this custom room as your daily driver or not so that's it for this video please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and please do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next